Good morning, ma'am. This good is morning, my resume. Good morning. How are you? Yeah, ma'am. I'm great. Thanks for asking me. How are you, ma'am? Yeah, fine. So previously you have completed some rounds. So this is a technical round for you. Okay, ma'am. So as per your resume, you have mentioned uh, in your resume that SQL. You are perfect in SQL, yes, right? Yes, ma'am. Uh, so shall I ask some questions on SQL? Yes, ma'am. Sure. Yes. Okay. So what is database? Database is nothing but a uh, 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 database management system like uh, it uh, stores uh, some software uh, uh, information and uh, it, uh, the applications store data as a file system and uh, the data is generally stored in the uh, either hierarchical form or navigational form. The data uh, the nav normalization is not, pre not present in the DBMS mm -hmm. and uh, the actually it defines the uh, it, it does not mention or apply any uh, applications uh, like uh, does not support any systems and uh, in DBMS and the actually data is uh, applied in a file system in DBMS so that's why there is no relationship between the tables mm -hmm. and it does not uh, define uh, any uh, di distributed database in the DBMS okay, so then how you can create a relationship between the tables uh, by using uh, relation relationship uh, between the tables, we can use the RDBMS relational database management system. So we can use that uh, RDBMS, and we can give the relation between the tables. Okay. So how you can create a table in the database? So uh, create a command you can use, and you can create a table in the uh, SQL. Okay. So what is data? Data is nothing but a collecting uh, collection of uh, some information like uh, facts and figures. So facts is nothing but uh, it includes uh, uh, either uh, uh, text uh, text files or audio files and uh, figures is nothing but it includes uh, graphics and uh, uh, video files etc. So data is nothing but whatever we are collecting the information from the keyboard or user and uh, you can store in a particular place is called the data. Like example uh, student information, student marks, uh, either customer invoice details. So whatever we are collecting the information and that can be stored in a particular place is called the data. Okay. So can you tell me what is the difference between delete, truncate and drop? Yeah, sure, ma'am. Uh, delete uh, is nothing but uh, this command is used to delete only the row from the table uh, based on the condition and uh, given in a where clause. And uh, if we uh, and we can also delete uh, delete command you can use and delete all the rows from the table if no condition is specified. And uh, it does not uh, uh, it uh, free the no, it does not free the space containing. So that is called the delete. And uh, truncate is it is nothing but uh, it is used to truncate all the rows from the table and mm -hmm. free the space containing and drop is nothing but it is used to remove data uh, remove an object from the database and mm -hmm. if you use drop uh, uh, drop command it will be remove all the data from the table and uh, that the data stu table structure is also removed from the database okay. that is called the drop okay that's fine uh, can you tell me about uh, what is the primary key Primary key is nothing but it, it does not allow null values and uh, uh, it does not uh, allow uh, uh, any null values and in that and uh, it, it can be defined uh, one or more columns uh, and it can be defined uh, It can be defined on one or more columns, more columns in, the in the table Is it possible? Yes ma'am, sure 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 ma'am But I can say that it is not possible You can create only one primary key for your table Yes, of course, ma'am. Uh, primary key uh, it allows only one primary key on a table, mm. and it can also uh, it can be defined a uh, uh, table level or column level also, and it can be uh, unique index will be created automatically in the primary key. What is the meaning of unique index? Then? Unique index is nothing but it uh, unique index. It does not also uh, duplicate values, but it allows uh, null values in unique key. But the primary key it, do not, it does not allows uh, null values. So that is the difference between the unique key and primary key. Okay. So, what about aggregate functions? So aggregate functions is nothing but a grouping functions, and it does not allow null values, 
and uh, aggregate functions mainly we can use the calculation purpose calculation of set of values and written in a single value that is called the aggregate functions and aggregate functions having uh, five types uh, so what are means average sum maximum minimum and count so these five are all using in the aggregate functions aggregate functions okay uh, where we can apply these functions like minimum function maximum function you are saying that average function so where um, we, on which column you can apply these functions uh, these uh, aggregate functions we can use the main purpose is calculating uh, for example average so mm. collecting some uh, val uh, group of collection of some values mm. and you can calculate average uh, on those values and give a result on a single value and uh, maximum minimum so these uh, commands we can use uh, either smallest or largest uh, uh, numbers of uh, rows in the table mm -hmm. and uh, can you take any real time example and you can say where we can use this functions yeah sure ma'am uh, for example average so mm -hmm. if i got uh, one student got a uh, five, five subjects in marks yes. So we have to average that marks total for whatever uh, we are having the student uh, total marks and wha what he get the uh, marks in that uh, subjects. So that purpose we are using this average and the maximum minimum also we can use that uh, uh, for example in a class uh, 50 members is there. Mm. So 50 members are not getting the same result but some people is getting a high, high marks and some people is getting a uh, low marks so that purpose we are using maximum students uh, how, uh, how many members are getting a maximum marks and how many members are getting a uh, smallest marks in the class so that purpose we are using this maximum and minimum commands okay uh, so how many types of commands you are having in sql Oh, commands uh, uh, is so five five ma'am. DML command, DT, 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 DTL, and DML, TCL, TCL, and DQL. Okay. So coming to DDL, what are the commands we are having? DDL data definition language. Mm. So data definition language having some commands like uh, uh, add, modify, alter, mm. and uh, drop. Uh, so the type of uh, commands is there having in DDL. Okay, coming to data manipulation language. A data manipulation language having some commands like uh, alter, uh, modification, and uh, truncate. So these are all having a uh, DML commands. Data manipulation language. Okay. Next, um, take this marker and write down on the board. Create one table. Okay, you need to create one table. In the table, you need to insert the data in three ways. We can insert the data into the table in three ways. Okay. What are the three ways we are having just mentioned on the board? Oh, okay, ma'am. Uh, firstly, the insert uh, uh, command is used to new rows of a data in a table. And there is a uh, two ways actually. Uh, and uh, first method is nothing but uh, there is no specify any column names uh, where we need to insert a values and we need only the values and second method is nothing but uh, uh, we need to specify both the column name and values how can you retrieve all the columns from all the rows from the table yes ma'am uh, we can use the select command so select start from employee table we can use this and we can retrieve the data from the table okay what is the purpose of alter command how you can alter some data into the table uh, yes ma'am alter command is nothing but it is used to new rows of a table mm -hmm. uh, definition of its columns and uh, alter command uh, we are using the main purpose is uh, uh, add, add uh, adding and uh, rename of a column and modify modify so drop uh, add and drop constraints uh, enable mm -hmm. or disable constraints uh, so for that purpose we are using this alter and uh, uh, alter is nothing but a uh, add a column drop a column modify a column so and uh, alter add and drop constraints uh, enable or disable concerns so we can use this purpose of a uh, uh, alter command and uh, so these are all the having a some se separate uh, syntaxes uh, having there okay so what is um, foreign key so foreign key it is nothing but it allows the duplicate values and null values comparing the unique value and primary key, primary key and uh, it uh, it does not it it is also defined on one or more columns mm -hmm. and it defines a table level or column level mm -hmm. and it it uh, refers a column by itself and it can refer a column of a primary key or a unique key so it is called the foreign key okay so okay what is a subquery 
sub query so sub query is nothing but it is also called as a nested query or inner query and uh, a sub query is uh, a sub query is nothing but a uh, nested query so query inside the query and uh, a where clause of a one query uh, may contain another query is called the sub query and uh, sub query can uh, also re uh, returns uh, small uh, single or multiple values okay. and uh, sub query is can be uh, returned a table returns a table in main query and a single query of one query is uh, we can use in a within the having clause okay so what is the difference between order by clause and having clause order by clause it is nothing but it is used to sort rows uh, uh, based on a candy based on a columns uh, uh, one or more columns uh, okay. either column or expression that what about a having clause then having clause it is used to uh, filter a filter of a rows filtering a rows and group it is used to return a group grouped rows uh, which can be written in a group by class and it does not uh, define in a where class where class okay so next uh, what is a join so join it is nothing but it is a combination uh, combine of a combination of rows uh, from one or more table two or more tables uh, and between the uh, uh, com combined uh, rows uh, in between the tables uh, so that is called the join and join have a, a divided into another five types they are natural join self join and uh, cartesian join like uh, inner join outer join and outer join can be also divided into another three types like uh, uh, left outer join right outer join and full join okay uh, lakshmi your interview is completed okay, for further details our hr will contact you okay ma'am thank you